Brazy and curly hair does not look perfect on all days of the week. But for you to stay motivated on your natural hair journey, this is something that you have to master. For instance, this is what my hair looks like today. It is not perfect. But today I'm going to help you master a few hairstyles that will make you look and feel your best. No matter how flat, frizzy, undefined or unruly you think your hair might look. All of these hairstyles you can achieve in under 2-3 to three minutes because if it takes longer, you're not going to try it. So I'm setting you up for success here. If you live in India, I'm sure you're not keeping your hair open right now because it is extremely hot. All of the hairstyles that I'm showing you today are tried and tested. They look good no matter how frizzy and undefined your hair looks. So for the first hairstyle, you're gonna need two clips like this. First, I'm gonna take the hair like so. Take the hair back like this to a half ponytail and then we're gonna clip it in place. After which, I'm gonna take the remaining hair from the bottom and clip it in place. And this is what we're looking like. Now let me show you a 360 of what this looks like. This is what I call an elongated ponytail. It makes your hair look way fuller and way longer. To finish off the look, I'm gonna use some bold earrings. And here you go, this is the first look. The point with this video is to exude confidence no matter what your hair looks like. Try this hairstyle out, I promise you, no matter how bad you think your hair looks, you're going to serve every single time. And of course, changing the focal point and wearing some bold earrings definitely help as well. For the next hairstyle, I'm just going to take some hair, keep it out here, that much from this side, and that much from the other, gonna take it, keep it in place for now and the rest of the hair I'm just gonna push back. I'm gonna take it all into a high ponytail like so and I'm gonna use a scrunchie that matches my hair color. So we're making a pineapple here. Playing around with the hair and seeing what looks best. Now if you have short hair, your pineapple is going to sit up. But if your hair is longer like mine is right now, your pineapple might droop at the back. And so what we're going to do is, we're going to take the hair, push it forward. We're going to use a claw clip that matches your hair and we're just going to pin it in place like this. This will give your pineapple that little lift it needs. I'll show you what it looks like from the back. Now with this hair, you're free to do whatever you want. I'll show you a couple of options that I really like. We're going for something very romantic, very nymph-like and very airy. And so the idea behind this is to be as boho and as experimental as you feel like being. So for the first choice, I'm just gonna take this strand of hair. I'm gonna take a clip like so and I'm just gonna clip it in place right here. I'm gonna have the hair cascade down like this. If you wear this hairstyle with confidence, you're going to pull this off. And you're also gonna get a lot of compliments. Now let me show you a 360 of what this looks like. But before that, let's do some earrings. I'll leave all of the links to these earrings in the description if you want to check them out. So look at that. Tell me this is not a serve. Now let me show you 360. If you don't like the look of these two pieces, all you have to do is bring it forward, take a tiny little claw clip like this and just pin it down. 
We're doing the same on the other side, bringing the hair to the front and just pinning it down. This is going to give you that pretty middle parting, the sleek look in the front and a clean looking 360. If you have a lot of flyaways here, there are a few products that you can use. You can take any gel that you have at home, mix it in with a little bit of water and just pat it down. Another product that I really like to do this with is the Ashba Styling Serum and most recently the Dove Curl Defining Gel. This also has that serum-like texture which will work really well with hairstyles like this where you need to slick the hair down. But you definitely don't need to go out and buy a separate product for this. A little bit of gel mixed in with a little bit of water also works perfectly fine. Since I have wavy hair, it doesn't take much on certain days to really slick the hair down. But in case I had frizz, this is what I would do. Okay, so now let me give you a 360. Okay, so for the next hairstyle, I'm gonna take a side part. Do I like that? Yeah, that's better. Then I'm gonna use a bobble hair tie. Put my hair in once. Take my hair and divide it into three. I'll braid it. I'll take some U pins or bobby pins, whatever you want to call this. Take the braid. And just secure it in place. This is the hairstyle, very elegant, again, very angelic. Perfect for a wedding as well, but the look is not complete without earrings. I have two pairs to show you that will go really well with this look. First, we have these really pretty hoops with pearls. Okay, so the last one. I'm keeping a side part, the rest of the hair. I'll direct backwards. I'll take all of the hair like this, twist. I'm going to use a clip like this and put the clip in place. Once you turn around, all you have to do is zhuzh the hair. Okay, so this is where the hair is falling. When you work with claw clips, this tends to happen sometimes. You might need to push the claw clip up or down and then see how the hair falls perfectly. I don't like the way the hair is falling here. So I'm just going to lift the hair up, take the claw clip and place it higher. I think it has to go higher still. So, zhuzh it a little. Yeah, I think this looks good. Feel free to play around with it a little bit. Place the clock clip lower, higher, in the middle and see what looks best based on your hair length. But of course, the look is not complete without some pretty earrings. I'm going for this gold and pearl intertwined hoops. Very, very pretty. And this is what we're looking like. I'll give you a 360. You'll notice that I paired each and every look with some bold earrings and of course a very strong bold lip. I'll leave details on the lip combo in the description if you're interested. I'm hoping you found this video helpful. If you're looking for more super simple hairstyles, you can check out this video right here.